Okay, you guys, so today we have our 6.1 notes on sequences and series. We're learning about a sequence, which is basically a function that only uses whole numbers, okay? Uh, whole numbers, if you guys remember, we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, da 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 Sequences are usually written using subscript notation, which basically means it has a little tiny 1 down at the bottom, 2, 3, so on and so forth, um, or a sub n, as I like to say and that is a sequence. Again, remember whole numbers, we're dealing with functions, okay, and um, you can write it as a sub n. So now let's go on to uh, page two of our notes. We have some examples. If I were to write out some numbers, I want you to give me an idea of what this sequence would look like in um, using variables, okay? So 13, 17, 21, 25, 29, da 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 okay. What do we notice is going on from here to here? This is, let's say this is a sub 1 and this is a sub 2. Okay, well I notice that I've got 13 and 17, so it looks like 17 minus 13 is 4. Okay, I'm adding 4 there. And a sub 3, again, I'm adding by 4, a sub 4, a sub 5. And you'll notice that each time we're adding um, 4 to each piece of our, um, each number of our sequence. And so if we're adding 4, what do we start with, though? 13, hmm. Well, 13 minus 4 is 9. And so we would write this as 4n because we start four times the number of our sequence plus nine, okay? So each time we're adding, we might be adding four between each one, but because we start at 13 and we don't start at one, we have to account for that by adding in that nine right there. Okay, let's look at a different one. Let's look at 12, 22, 32, 42, 52. Okay. Again, a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5. And where do we start? Well, let's see. We've got 2 going between each of these. So if I subtract 2 from 12, then I have 10. So my sequence would be 10n plus 2. All right. We have two more to look at. 13, 16, Oops. We've got 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, yada, yada, yada. If you notice our rule or what we're doing is we're adding by 3. And we start with 13, so 13 minus 3 is 10. So this one would be 3n plus 10. Okay. Now, why is it that this one is 10n plus 2 and this one is 3n plus 10? Can't we do it either or? Um, you really can. So we could really write this one up here as 9n plus 4, except that then, look at this. If we did 9n plus 4, our second term of our sequence, well, that becomes 18. So you really have to make sure you look at that. So right here we have 10n plus 2. Um, 10 times 2 is 20, plus 2 is 22. Um, if we did it the other way, it wouldn't work quite so well. Um, this one, again, remember, you're starting with a sub 1. So if you plugged in 1, what would you get? Well, you have to multiply 3 times 1 is 3 plus 10. Here 4 times 1 is 4 plus 9 is 13. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 9 is 17. Okay, so you really have to make sure that you're looking at it. So if you see the difference here and here, here we've got 10n plus 2 and here we've got 3n plus 10. The reason why is because again you have to look at what a sub 1 is, what a sub 2 is, what a sub 3 is. Okay, we have one more at the bottom. We've got our 17, 27, 
37, 47, 57. Okay. And if we look from here to here, we're adding 10 each time. Okay. That's our rule, so to speak. So then we have our 10n plus 7, because we started at 17. So 17 minus 10 is 7. Okay, And you can write your rules out as adding <coughs> 4, adding 10, adding 3, and adding 10 again. Okay. Alright, next page. Okay, sequences can be finite or infinite. A finite sequence is the, the domain of the sequence is only the first n positive integers. Okay. The infinite sequence, the domain is the set of all positive integers. Okay. It's infinite. It goes on forever and ever and ever. This one, it has a, a set number that you can have or you can't have. Next slide. Writing the terms of a sequence. Write the first four terms of the sequences given by these guys. Okay, again, we're looking for four terms. So a sub 1, we're going to plug in 1 into our sequence. 3 times 1 minus 2. Well, that's 1. Then we have a sub 2, well, that's 3 times 2 minus 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. a sub 3, 3 times 3 minus 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. And a sub 4. 3 times 4 minus 2 is 12, minus 2 is 10. Those are the first four terms of our sequence. Now this one, we've got 3 plus negative 1 to the nth power. First four terms, a sub 1 equals 3 plus negative 1 to the first power. Well, negative 1 to the first is negative 1, so 3 minus 1 is 2. Then we have a sub 2. 3 plus negative 1 squared is 4. a sub 3. 3 plus negative 1 cubed is negative 1, 2. And a sub 4. 3 plus negative 1 to the fourth is again 4. Notice here we go 2, 4, 2, 4, two, our pattern would be 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4. So this is called an alternating sequence. It's one of those special guys. 